uh, a lot of like Batosra users um, encountered some problems like uh, when they updated the system you know for some reason the, the game stopped working you know when they launch a game you know they got a black screen and you know the game never load so okay the problem here is uh, we need to uh, delete one uh, uh, configuration file um, to uh, solve the you know the system um, uh, the conflicts okay so here is you know um, here is the system I already put it up and I already connect connect to the system to my home Wi-Fi so we go to um, press start you know I go to main menu we have network settings and uh, remember the IP address in my case it's this guy okay then let's go let's move to our home computer that is connected to the same network okay make sure uh, they're connecting to the same router okay open file browser okay from here you go to the address bar This is the IP address. Oh, okay. I, I type it wrong. So you have the the network um, uh, share. Uh, so you go to the, this folder and then you go to system configs emulation station. So you should see some files like uh, this screen, okay? So the the guy gave us problem is this file. It's the emulation station system configuration. So we need to delete this file. Okay. Since we have some um, customized systems that is that are not included in the um, native Batosra system so after we delete this file you know we will we will lose um, the access to you know those customized systems so what we're gonna do So you download those files from GameGear.net and then it's a whole bunch of them. So you know we have 12 systems uh, customized. So we need to copy those 12 files. Load them to your system. Okay. The transferring is going. Okay, now we go to our virtual console. From here, we we'll restart the system.
So now we should have all the systems um, like before the update and all of them should be working. Okay, so the problem is solved. Thank you for watching and see you next time.